R6FG is a receiver with six channels in total and gyro integrated. Now I'm going to show you how to do the binding and how to activate the gyro function. Power on the R6FG first. And let's take RC6GS as an example. There is no signal tower display on the LCD screen. And we can see that, uh, that the LED indicator is flashing slowly, meaning it's not bound yet. Now let's do the binding. Long press the binding button until the LED indicator flashes quickly, meaning binding process is ongoing and release the button. When the LED stops flashing and is always on, we can see that a signal tower show on top of the LCD screen of the transmitter. Binding is complete. Now I connect the servo and turn the steering wheel to double confirm on channel 1. You can see that the servo is turning with the steering wheel. Then let's take a look at the gyro function. Press the binding button three times and the LED color will change. So let's take a look. One, two, three. We can see that the LED color has turned red and green, meaning the gyro is activated. Let's connect the servo to take a look. When we move the receiver RCS FG a bit, we can see that the servo will correct the direction automatically. For example, when the gyro is activated, when the car turns right, the gyro will make the wheel directions to turn left to modify the direction. If we find that, for example, the gyro modified direction is to right, same as that of the running wheels to right. That means the gyro is reversed. We need to quickly press the binding button twice to change the reversed phase. Remember, three times pressing is to activate the function, while two times pressing is to make phase refer reversed. We can see that the green LED quickly flashes twice, meaning the gyro phase is reversed. Now when I move the receiver, we can see that the gyro modified direction is different from that before changing. This receiver is compatible with radio link transmitter RC6GS, RC4GS, and, R and TAFB, TAS, and RC4G, RC3S that are stop production.